Uh, exciting times for orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Uh, first up in six years. Now, is was this a lockdown thing? <laughs> You know it was, yeah. It was, uh, you know, started in March 2020. There was nothing to do. I felt like a teenager again. My mother was hogging the telly and I went to my bedroom to be, to do some music or something. So, yeah, I just locked myself in my programming room and here we are now with a new album. But you songwrite all the time. It's, it's such a mystery to me how songwriting happens. Do you know when you're writing an orchestral maneuvers in the dark song as opposed to a song for someone else? Uh, well... Long gone are the days of me writing for anybody else now. It's just purely orchestral maneuvers in the dark, which, which is good. So I can get my blinkers on and know exactly what I want to sound like. And uh, it's just um, the bottom line is you just you just keep churning them out. They're not all gold. Nine out of ten you throw back in the bin again. But as long as you keep trying, you get you get some good stuff as well. Yeah. And uh, and this album, is it sort of, you know, it comes out next Friday. Is this kind of, you know, classic orchestral maneuvers in the dark? Or have you have you moved things? Have you twerked things? Have you changed things? We're fortunate enough to have fairly distinctive sound, so I think we'd be we'd be silly to not not sound like ourselves. The trick is to not sound like a kind of sad pastiche of yourself. Still put the energy and and, and the good stuff in. It's I've been told it sounds more electronic than ever before, which is interesting for a band that's been a synth band all these years. Yeah, and um, what have you done? It, it, I, don't, I don't know. I got some I got some new synths in lockdown. Maybe that's it. New toys. Is that and is that kind of is that your happy place? Is you go and you play with new synths and. Um... <laughs> Do you know it is when it is when you write something good. It's unbelievably frustrating when you write something and you come back the next day and go, "Well, that was a waste of a day." There's nothing good in there, <laughs> so you have to keep doing it. But uh, no, we're very excited, and actually, we're already getting the reviews coming in, which are five star reviews. So we've done something right, it seems. Fantastic, and and you know, in terms of the songwriting process, what in this stage of your life, what are the things that are kind of inspiring you and sparking you to 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 write songs um i'm still interested in politics and art i mean bauhaus staircase comes from a painting from a chap who who used to teach at the bauhaus school of art um we have a song called kleptocracy where i'm having a pop at various narcissist politicians you don't need me to name the names you'll hear it in the song <laughs> <laughs> and does that kind of make you nervous kind of putting your head above the parapet and kind of going right this is what i think uh, no, I think when you get to a certain age, you just think um, I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of being diplomatic. You know, I'm just going to I'm going to be a grumpy old man and say what I think. Uh, what do we know about this particular song? Uh, don't be frightened of it. It's not a history lesson about the art school. You know, during COVID, we, we lost all of our public performances of art and public access to art. So this is really just celebrating the power of art. Andy, uh, I've got a very sweet but sort of sad uh, text from a listener, Lorna, in Glasgow. Uh, Lorna's partner, Marion, died unexpectedly last December, but they were both huge fans of the band and they saw you live lots and lots of times and Lorna's just saying, you know, Marion would be so excited about the new album and just wants to, me to say hello to you and thank yourself and Paul for being part of the soundtrack of their life together. And that is so sweet. I'm so sorry to hear that Marion passed away. But uh, that's, you know, that's really kind of looked Lorna to share that. You know, as a musician, you don't often get a chance to kind of change the world in a big way. But when you hear a story like that, you realise that something you do is lodged in people's hearts. And it, it, it's, it, you're blessed to hear something like that. So I'm sorry that Marion won't be able to come and see, see us play with you. But hopefully we'll see you next year when we're up in Scotland. Yeah, and also, you know what's really lovely about that too is because it's a new album. So it's kind of new memories now for Lorna. So, I, yeah, it's lovely. Um, and you, you say you're playing next year. This is the Bauhaus Staircase Tour. Yes, it is. Um, it's nice to have some new material to play. I mean, we do a lot of summer festivals where it's the retro festivals, you know, and it's all, all the usual suspects from the 80s playing together and having a party. So this will be nice to, to mix up some new stuff. We're not daft enough. We're not going to play the whole album. People not, need not be scared. We've got, we've got this problem. We've got to fit in 18 hit singles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking of playing live, uh, you are coming to the top of the tower. Yeah, I can't wait. That's exciting. Halloween, we're, we're there. Yes. So, uh, 31st of October, it, which is a Tuesday night. If you don't know, I just checked it. I just looked it up. It's a Tuesday <laughs> night, the 31st. So, uh, Lee Francis uh, is hosting his own Halloween party with Ricky Wilson. Uh, have you been up? You've been up here already, haven't you, Andy? 
Uh, yeah, I've done interviews before, but we've never played live, so uh, I'm, I'm really rather looking forward to it. Well, it's a, you, it's a gorgeous backdrop. It's just extraordinary, and it'll be, you know, the, all the lights of the city be, will be behind you. It'll be just gorgeous. Uh, Andy, good luck with uh, the Halloween party. Good luck with the album, and uh, good luck with the tour. Hope it goes really well. Thank you very much. And I do hope everybody's going to come in costume for the recording of the, the part of the show. That will be brilliant playing up there. It, it, be it'll, be, it'll be a security uh, issue. They, they'll be downstairs. If they're not in costume, they'll be turned away. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it.